Yo, what's up guys? It's Bolt Review back again with another video, and in this video we're going to be checking out the top 10 tech under 100 bucks. This is my first top 10 or top anything. All the links to all these products will be down in the description if you want to check them out, going in order to. So, hope you guys like this stuff. So we're going to start at 10 and then we're going to go all the way to 1 because 1 is pretty cool and it just came out and it's under 100 bucks. So let's start with 10. 10 on the list, moving up to 1, is the Zetilas iPhone 6 Plus 6 Plus Lite Series Camera. And this kit is a 4-in-1 lens attachment with premium textured leather finish style black. It also comes in blue, green, orange, red, and that's about it on Amazon, but this case comes in at $84.95 and is just really cool. You get four lenses with this, so if you're a vlogger, you like photography, and you don't want to carry around your DSLR or any other camera with you, and you just want your phone, this is a very nice substitute for that. You get a macro lens, a wide-angle lens, a fisheye lens, and a CPL lens, all just in one case and it's very light and compact and it'll do you well if you're a photographer or you want to start vlogging because you'll have different lenses for different areas and it'll look cool. So that comes in at $84.95. If you want to pick that up, that's down in the description. Now moving to number nine is the solar tab. Now the solar tab is a 5.5 watt solar charger with a 13,000 milliamp hour power bank for iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6, just Anything that you want to throw at it or plug into it, it will charge it. Now this only comes in charcoal gray, I think. Um, it's supposed to look like a surface or some kind of tablet so then you don't know that it's a power bank, but it's gigantic. It gets powered by the sun so it's green energy and it powers up your phone. So if you go camping a lot, this would be great to pick up. It's $130 and there's only 10 left in stock. so. I recommend going to pick this up. I saw this while I was on Twitter and I think it's a really cool idea. Next for number eight is the HTC Desire S2 S6 or S2 6S. It's a no contract phone and it'd be a very nice pickup. It's only $73 and it's a pretty good phone. It has an eight megapixel main camera and up to a five megapixel front facing camera featuring expandable memory up to 200 gigabytes. And this just, it has HTC themes, you can create a signature display, icons, and ringtone based on your favorite photo. So it's just an all around good phone and if you're looking for a cheap phone, I recommend picking this up because it's a nice phone to have. Number 7 on the list is the Audio-Technica AT2020 Cardioid Condenser Studio Microphone and this comes in at $86.95. This microphone will do you very well if you want to record your music or if you want to start doing vlogs or videos like this one. You always need a microphone to make the audio just right, so this is a great pickup. It comes with a bag, it comes with a, an attachment for another attachment to like a tripod or a microphone holder. So anyways guys, this is a good pickup if you want a, a studio microphone. Um, it's $86.95. It'll do you well if you want to record music or YouTube videos. At number six, we have the LifeX Color 1000 A19 Wi-Fi Smart LED Light Bulbs. And these are all over the place. I've seen Jonathan Morrison have these. I'm pretty sure Unbox Therapy has these. All those popular YouTubers or tech YouTubers have these. And they're awesome lights. I want to pick up a couple myself and use them in my uh, soft boxes. I also want to use them just in my regular ceiling lights, just in general, because these are great and they have up to 16 million colors and 1,000 shades of white. App and cloud controls compatible with Amazon Echo, so you could just talk to your Echo and you could just say, change the color to green and then change it to green and then you'd have a green room. Really, this is a good pickup. They are about $60 each and it is expensive for a bulb, but for what this does, it's pretty good. 
At number five, we have the Sandex iExpand 128GB USB 2.0 mobile flash drive with lightning connector for iPhones, iPads, and computers. Now, this is a really cool device, and if you have a 16GB iPhone and you just want a little bit more space or you want to get some, rid of some stuff but you don't want to delete it, you know that problem. Uh, this is going to be a lifesaver for you. All you have to do is plug in your phone, I think download an app, and then you can just auto sync photos to it and back back and forth and it'll just be probably the greatest accessory for you it's really small it's about the size of a USB drive just like one of those little flash drives so you can stick this in your backpack stick it in your pocket and you just have space for days so <laughs> if you're gonna buy the iPhone SE go for the free version and pick up one of these and you're gonna be good now this comes in at exactly a hundred bucks, so kind of pricey, but for 128 gigabytes that you can connect to your smartphone and get rid of a ton of pictures that you're just saving on there, it's going to be worth your while. Now if we look at number four, at number four we have the Kindle Paperwhite 6 inch high resolution display at 300 ppi. Now this is just about Apple standards for a retina display. Apple retina display is 326 ppi and this is 300 ppi for a paper white display. So this will look great in sunlight. You don't need to grab a shade for your tablet. And this comes at, at exactly 100 bucks. It was originally 100, 120 something. But now it's $99 on Amazon, so you want to go pick that up, e-readers? It's down in the description, or people that want to start reading more and don't want to be carrying around books? Down in the description, guys. It's a pretty good product, and I really recommend that you go pick that up if you really want it, because you're getting $20 off, you get special offers, it has Wi-Fi. Why not? So... And number three, we have something that was designed for professionals, but I really recommend that you go pick it up. It's a mouse, and this is a Logitech MX Master wireless mouse, and this is one of the top mouses that you can buy. This is really nice. It comes in at $74.59, so about $75. Usually mouses would cost like 20 bucks at Walmart. If you go there, you can get a wireless mouse or a Bluetooth mouse for that much, but they're usually really small and they don't really hold your hand right. This has ergonomics for days. Like this has a unique thumb holder with a button. It has multiple buttons. So if you're video editing, definitely recommend to pick this up. If you're a YouTuber, pick this up. If you like Photoshop or use Photoshop often, pick this up. Anything Adobe wise, pick this up because this is probably one of the best things that you'll ever buy for your desk or your setup in general. So once again, Logitech MX master wireless mouse at number three down in the description if you want to go pick that up. Number two, we have something very exciting. Now VR is becoming a huge thing. It has been for a little while and there's they are on roller coasters now. Phones are being designed to put into VR holders. YouTube has VR videos for just like 360 videos where you can like turn around and stuff and usually we would use our phones and turn with that but Here's something for you. It's a VR headset, which actually, if you have checked out VR headsets on Amazon, all of them are under $100. I didn't find one that was over 100 so if you guys want to pick that up, there's the Google Cardboard at the cheapest with 7 bucks. Probably the one that's going to be most universal on most smartphones, and this comes in at 30 bucks. So if you guys really want a VR headset, they are really cheap, and they just connect to your iPhone, so you can go on YouTube, watch a ton of videos, you can download apps, I think. They're going to be coming, there's going to be games out for these for your phones. So definitely recommend to go pick one of these up if you want to be in the know with VR, or if you want a VR headset in general, go pick up the 2016 new version, 3D VR, yeah. I'll just send you the link, link to the searches, and the, through the searches you can find the one that fits your phone best, and then find the one that you want in general, because there's tons of different styles, there's tons of different prices, 
just pick the one that you want. I definitely recommend going with the first result, the 2016 new version 3D VR virtual reality glasses headset. Very long name, but it says buy check, so you can get it there. It's usually $90, but this has it for 30 bucks. So if you have Amazon Prime, you're getting a deal. Number one, we have a brand new product, and this is actually Amazon's product, so you can just go to Amazon, and this is probably the only place you can buy it at. And if you guys know the Amazon Echo, this is its little sister or little brother. It's called the Echo Dot. Now, this is just the Amazon Echo, but it's a smaller version, and it does almost all the same things. It uses Alexa voice service to play music, provide information, read the news, set alarms, control smart home devices, and more, just using your voice. So just like the Echo, it will control Pandora, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Uber, Wemo, Google Calendar, the Amazon apps, Amazon Music, TuneIn, NPR News, Domino's Pizza, you could order pizza off this. It controls the hue lighting system, so if you get the LifeX light bulbs, you can control it with this Amazon Dot. This is a really cool, really nice, just really small compact design, and this comes in at $90, $89.99. And if you guys liked the Amazon Echo or think that's pretty cool, go for this one. The difference is this is going to be a little bit quieter if you want a speaker, but I think you can just Bluetooth connect the Alexa thing to another speaker, and then you can do it that way. So it's not bad. Yeah, guys, this has been my top 10. All of this stuff is going to be down in my description. So go down there if you want any of this <laughs> any of this tech because all this tech is really cool and I'm probably going to buy almost all of it. I know I'm going to purchase some LifeX light bulbs when I get there and I'm also going to buy a <laughs> Cardoid Condenser Studio microphone, probably Audio Technica because they're really good with audio. Um, the solar tab I really want to get too and the Zetalis iPhone 6 6 Plus series camera, I really might just get that because this is the 6 Plus and I might start a vlog soon and I feel like it would help me a lot. So anyways guys, thanks for listening to my top 10 tech under $100. If you guys liked any of this stuff or you want me to do more things like this, like top 25 tech under $500, top 20 under five dollars something like that go comment down below because i will most likely make the video for you if you really want the video to be made so anyways guys thanks for watching once again i will see you in the next one Bye.